Hey you guys, what's up? It's me, Catherine, and today I bring you Cat's Declassified Tech Week Survival Guide. Your results may vary. That's right, I am in the thick of Tech Week. I know that you guys have been wanting to see a Tech Week video for a while. I've been wanting to do one for a while, but I thought it'd be fun and festive to do one during an actual tech week. And what's also interesting and different about doing it like that is that I can give you guys the real time tips and advice of what I'm actually doing this week during tech week. Question of the day, how do you survive tech week? What tips or tricks do you have that you wanna share with the Theater Thursday fam? In the comments down below. Some of them are tips that you probably already use and some of them are brand new things that I never even realized that I do, but they're kind of saving my butt right now. Before we jump in, I also just wanted to thank you all so much for the outpouring love on my last video, letting you guys know that I wasn't feeling great. Since then, I feel so much better, which is good because previews begin tomorrow. What? If you're watching this the day it's uploaded, tomorrow, Friday, is our first preview performance of Into the Woods. If you guys are in the LA area or if you're going to be for the next couple months, come by and say hi. I'm playing Rapunzel. It's gonna be great. The cast is incredible. We're in a neat little theater in the heart of the NoHo Arts District, so stay till the end of the video to see my performance dates plus a 50% off ticket coupon code. Also, if you're new to my channel, hello and welcome. My name's Catherine Steele and I put out a new theater-related video on every theater Thursday. Plus I do bonus uploads throughout the week. So if you haven't already and you'd like to go ahead and hit subscribe. That way you get notified for all future videos and you get to join the theater Thursday fam. First we take over Broadway and then the world. Follow me at Kath underscore Steel on Snapchat, Twitter, and Instagram. That's also a good place to go for a behind the scenes look at what's going on backstage. Without any further ado, let's talk about how I'm surviving tech week. I wrote down game changer next to this one. See what kind of amenities your theater has if they have any. We've been rehearsing there for the past couple weeks and I just found out yesterday that the theater has a microwave. I literally had no idea. I had never been in that room before and I had no idea that there was a microwave for us to use. I can reheat my tea or I can make tea at the theater or I can warm up dinner. I can eat warm food. I don't even remember the last time I had like a hot dinner because I've been out all the time. So definitely see if your theater has a microwave or a fridge or a stove or what kind of stuff you can use there. Bring a warm jacket and a scarf, even if you don't want to, even if you don't think you'll need it, just do it. A big water bottle. Oh my gosh. As you guys know, I literally can't walk five feet without having a water on me, especially now that I'm recovering and getting better. But I'm just someone who's like a really big fan of drinking water and always having water on me. Thankfully, there's a water fountain backstage and it's delicious and cold and wonderful. But especially if you don't have water on site, definitely bring a giant thing of water. This one's super important. If you have really long rehearsals or if you're doing a really active show, make sure to bring snacks or to find out where you can get snacks in the area. And I'm not talking about vending machine stuff. I'm talking about like real protein filled, good for you, nutritious snacks. Okay, I'm saying this one on camera to keep myself accountable and hopefully it'll force me to actually follow through on this. Future cat, if you're watching this, you better do it. Stick to your nightly routine. Take off your makeup, wash your face, do the whole nine yards. Just because you're tired, you don't get a free pass. Your skin doesn't care that you're tired. In fact, you're stressed out and you're sweaty and you're putting more makeup on than usual. That's like a recipe for skin disaster. Now is definitely the time to take extra good care of your skin. Bring an extra charger. I'm not someone who's like on my phone a lot during a show or rehearsal, but because for this specific show, I come in on a lot of weird pitches that don't have any underscoring and I'm singing off stage a lot. I have a little piano app on my phone to just plunk out my first note. If you're using your phone for anything like that, or if you don't drive yourself and you need to call for a ride or whatever it is, bring an extra phone charger with you. My performance cheat sheet has made another appearance. I've talked about this in other videos, but basically it's a paper that has all of my entrances, exits, what my cue line is, what song is going Going on, when I have to get prepped, what I'm wearing. Basically, it's just a grid that outlines everything that I'm doing for the show. A lot of people on Broadway use this, especially swings and understudies and people who, you know, don't necessarily perform the same track every single night. I don't always use a cheat sheet, but I'm definitely using one for this show. Number one, because we had such a short rehearsal period. Reason number two, like I mentioned in the announcement video, there are different casts and understudies and swings and people covering multiple tracks. And a reason 
season number two, like I mentioned in the announcement video, there are different casts. This show is running for a few months. We have understudies, we have swings, we have people coming in and out. It's kind of crazy. There's a lot going on. So having a cheat sheet can be really helpful when everything is new. At least you have like the rules and your instructions written out for you. Let me know in the comments down below if you want to see my cheat sheet or see how I make it or anything about that. Let me know. I'd really recommend against hanging out after rehearsal. I know how much fun it can be when you have your adrenaline super high and you're super pumped about the show and you just want to hang out with everyone. You're going to be so exhausted. You need those extra hours of sleep for your voice, for your body, for your brain. You're going to all see each other tomorrow, I promise. Keep in mind that everyone has a lot going on during tech week, whether you're an actor, technician, designer, director, whatever you're doing on this show, chances are everyone's stressed out and excited. So if someone forgets something that you asked them, to do or something that you guys had discussed about, it's totally okay to nicely remind them. Work through things on your own or with your scene partners, especially if you're in a show that has multiple casts, understudies. The thing that I see the most is that a lot of people just kind of run out of rehearsal time or you don't have enough time to kind of discuss all of the intricacies inside of little scenes. Personally, what I like to do is just grab my scene partners during a break and we'll go into the lobby and run it or into the dance room or dressing room or wherever we have free space. I ran and music stuff in the bathroom the other night with my friend, so that was fun. But just finding those little pockets of time. If you feel nervous about something, there's no need to go on stage scared about it. Pull people aside and run with them. So there you guys go. Those are all of my top tips on how to survive tech week and how I'm doing it right now. If you're going to be in the LA area for the next few months and you want to come see me as Rapunzel in Into the Woods, here are my show dates. There are different casts and understudies and stuff like that. So these are my performance dates. These are the days that I will be playing Rapunzel. You can use code cast Catherine Woods for 50% off of your tickets. I know for a fact those work on general admission. I don't know about the VIP ones, but definitely for general admission. Another question I've been getting a lot is stage dooring. Will I be at the stage door? What's going on with that? Personally, I've never done a show at this company, so I don't know what the stage door situation is, but I promise you I will do everything in my power to say hi and grab a picture if you're gonna come see the show. If you use my ticket discount code, be sure to tweet me or comment on Facebook. That way I can shout you out in a future video to thank you for coming to see my show. Again, feel no obligation to come see the show, but if you're coming to see me, I want to thank you. I hope you enjoyed this video. I love you guys so, so much. Break a leg and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!